Hello everyone. Yesterday, my friend gave me four of these ultra fast thrusters, and、uh, this afternoon I cleaned two of them. And I would like to show you something I would like to build in the following months. First, these are all 1.6 kilovolts and 1200 amps. Continuously, water cooled thrusters, which weighs about 900 grams each, very heavy. This is the anode, and this is the cathode. Beside them is the ceramic package and a little a little gate for trigger. They are all water cooled, which means they need to be mounted in something like this. Here, in front of you, is the whole assembly of the water cooled jacket. One, two, three. They are all water cooled blocks, and、uh, some hoses for the cooling water. Here are three copper bus bars. Coupling with these two, I、uh, these two thrusters. Sorry, and the whole assembly is just pushed tightly by one, two, and three. The third one is behind this pole. These three bolts. In the data sheet, it says that these kind of thrusters need need to have a mounting force. For around 40 kilogram force per unit centimeter. That's for better electric coupling and to lower the thermal resistance for better cooling. And let's go back to the thrusters and the circuit.、Uh, I actually draw. Uh, a circuit here.、Um, this is a bridge rectifier. Oh, oh, not this is a bridge、uh, inverter. Sorry, this is a choke which functions as a current source. In the working tank coil, we employ a parallel resonant circuit. Here is the main resonant capacitor, and here is the working coil. This resistor is just the metal you put inside the coil, which will decrease the tank's Q factor.、Um, these one, two, three, four are four ultra-fast thrusters. And、uh, since I don't、uh, want to build a P a face locking loop or something more complex, I am not good at those、uh, digital electronics. I just uh, I just think about a simple self-excited、uh, trigger circuit. I would、uh, take the voltage signal by this potential transformer here, and the current signal in the tank circuit by this current transformer, and the current signal would go in this port, and the voltage feedback signal would go in. This port, we have two potential meters、uh, for adjusting the、uh, the duty which two signals would compose together to form the trigger signal, which will then、uh, enter or goes to some trigger gates and、uh, to some amplifiers, just some push pull. Uh, amplifiers which use some PMOS or an AMOS in series to just drive these four thrusters.、Um, since we know the thrusters, unlike IGBTs or FETs,、uh, they can't be turned off by applying a negative gate pulse to the to the thruster. I would not refer to the GTO thrusters. They could be turned off by simply applying a negative p 
host to the gate. But since we are using the ultra fast thrusters here, we don't we don't use that method for the inverter. So what we could do is just uh, either we cut the current through the thrusters, or we simply apply a negative voltage across the thrusters. Right? I guess you. All of you know that. Uh, so since we have a current source here, which means the current uh, during the each duty is nearly the same, we it's hard to cut off the current here because that will uh, induce a very high voltage spike, which is nearly destructive. So we use the method which is applying a negative pulse to the thrusters anode. So how does it work? Let's follow the first duty. In the first duty, we apply the start pulse, which is generated by another circuit. The first pulse would turn on one the first and the fourth thrusters. So the voltage uh, across the tank is this one is plus and this one is ground, right? And the voltage will increase this side. And um, we the, this is the voltage across the tank, right? Just the voltage uh, here or here. They are all voltage across the tank. And uh, you can see the voltage is increased and then decreased due to the nature of the parallel resonant circuit. And we don't wait until the, cur the voltage goes to zero. Before the current uh, goes to zero, in the first start pulse, we would trigger this uh, second and third thrusters. And uh, if I trigger these two thrusters, that which means I simply grounded the left side of the resonant tank and the, the right side of the, the resonant tank is connected to the anode of the first thrusters. Uh, that means the pos actually the positive side of the tank is grounded. So this side becomes the negative side, which would apply a negative pulse uh, here, this pulse, to the first thrusters, and this thrusters would be turned off by itself. The same thing happens happened to the fourth uh, thrusters, and during the next next duty next duty here. The second and the third thrusters would be turned off by using the same method. And, uh, and the, with, the, with the time passed, all of these four thrusters are turned off by using the same method. Uh, my, my cell phone's focus system is not quite good now because it was damaged by a post magnetron. So I actually uh, processed this pic this schematic, and uh, here on the computer you would see a more clear one. I forget I processed it. Sorry. Um, we uh, we need to turn off the thrusters, so we need the trigger circuit uh, have a different phase angle of the current, right? We need the uh, trigger circuit uh, just a bit, little bit, lag the voltage, lag the, oh no, not lag, just a little bit leading the voltage across the tank, right? So we only by that we could apply a negative pulse on the thrusters. So what we will do is just 
uh, just connect these two signals in series, right? You could actually see that this is a, a current signal and this is a voltage signal. They are just connected in series and uh, form a composed sine wave signal because they are the same frequency but different phase angle. So uh, we can adjust the composed trigger signal's phase angle by just simply uh, adjust these two potential meters. That will change the phase angle of the composed trigger circuit trigger signal. And uh, you may be curious about what these two diodes would do. That that is for better starting. We all know that the diode is a non-linear non component uh, when the voltage is across them is very low, right? So that means the diode would have a higher impedance when the voltage is lower than usual. 0 0.7 volts usually is the usual voltage. And uh, in the first pulse, starting pulse here, the both the voltage signal and the current signal is very small. But we want to have a larger leading angle, which means uh, we want to cut off the cut off the uh, the first and the fourth transistors earlier than usual, earlier than usual operation in the first start duty, first start cycle here. We want to cut it uh, earlier than usual. So what we need to do is to uh, enlarge the this current component in the composed trigger signal. What we need to do is just enlarge this potential meter but if we don't want to do want to do that manually each time during the start we could simply use these uh, serious diodes so these diodes actually in series with a potential meter which should have a larger total impedance during the start because uh, during the start I said the voltage across these two ports would be low lower than usual, so this part would have a larger impedance. So we have a larger impedance, a larger current component in the compo composed triggers, trigger signal. Uh, sorry for my English. And uh, the last thing I want to mention is that the trigger signal uh, need to be leading the, leading the voltage signal across the tank but lag with the current signal in the tank. That could be showed in this, uh, the, in these waveforms. So that would be what I need to do in the following months. And uh, maybe I would, uh, I would build this circuit in July or August. Uh, that's a long wait. So thanks for watching. Wish you a good day.